Hey, what's happening? Happy Monday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, today's one of those days where I didn't find just one video clip. Uh, I found about four or five. I'm going to list them in a second. Uh, I put the video clips right down below. I make sure they're easily accessible, that the, the links are all right there for you guys. Uh, I, I don't like dealing with copyright issues. With strikes, I, I just want to avoid it. I, I've, I've did, done videos about this before, uh, getting strikes out of nowhere. I follow the example of what I call my mentor, Bo the Fifth Column, and the way he does his videos. Uh, and he, I, he's talked about this before, too. That, you know, he, he, he doesn't even put the links down below. He just lets you guys find them yourselves. And I think you're quite able to do that, honestly. So I'll put the links down below. You want to watch them, you don't want to watch them, it's up to you. All right, the first one is Nick Fuentes, okay? Now, I know some of you don't know or care about Nick Fuentes, but he gets views. There's this small cultish following, uh, like 30-something, 20, 30-something-year-old 20, uh, Caucasian nationalist guys that just love this guy. I, I, I don't get it. In this video clip, he, he's got these shoulders that are about this big, and he sits there like like this and his voice he's got another one of those voices that just like uh, he, it's, it's whining it reminds me Trump I got another there's going to be another link down below of Donald Trump it's an eight minute clip and he's talking like this and America is is going down the tubes and the airports are dirty I, I can't do it but I, I just want I want to stick an ice pick in my ears and during this whole clip, there's this ominous music playing. And the whole crowd, I missed this yesterday. The whole crowd is pointing up. What is that? I, God? Trump? I, I don't know. His voice. Nick Fuentes whiny. And his shoulders like this, the way he just sits there with those arms this big, shoulders about this wide. And he just whines and whines and whines. He, he looks like a 10-year-old boy in a suit. You know, I, I, I don't get it. But hey, there's, <laughs> watch, this video will get <clears throat> a couple hundred views. Go figure. You know, give the people what they want or what they don't want or what pisses them off. I don't know. All right. There's going to be a great link down below. Republican Jesus. This is a little skit and this is fantastic. This is, this is. It shows the hypocrisy. I'll just, it's just plain and simple and it does it wonderfully. Uh, the hypocrisy of Republic, uh, evangelical Republicans. I'll, I'll just say that much. I, I don't, this is, this, this is by far the best clip down below, Republican Jesus. Which leads me to uh, the, the one or two more clips. There's this one guy, I don't even remember his name. He's a pasty faced doughboy down below. And he compares the, uh, the situation in America now that conservative Republicans are, are going to be hunted out like they were in the, the, Hantu, the, Hotu, the Hantus and the Tutsis back in the 90s and, and everything that happened there. I can't use the word uh, mass uh, uh, I, I can't use the word but you, you all know what I'm talking about in Rwanda uh, and he says that's what's coming here and he says how the the uh, hot the hot the hotus uh, were jealous that the Tutsis had money and power, and so they they started calling them cockroaches and went a, went ahead and kind of uh, decimated them, and that's what's happening to conservatives, the evangelicals here in this country today. So he, he, what he's saying here is this little group. He thinks this little group uh, uh, of his. Evangelical Christian nationalists are, are being hunted down now because they have the money and the power. Well, they're right. He's right. They are the minority. Which leads me back to Nick Fuentes. I want to talk about Nick Fuentes the most in this clip. Like I said, all these clips will be down below, but Nick Fuentes. This one, I, I, I love it. I, hey, this is the first time I'm happy. I agree with Nick Fuentes on this video. He says that he's not going to vote. He's going to, unless Donald, he, the only person he's going to vote for, well, I don't agree with 100%, but I, I like his attitude. He says he's not going to vote for anybody but Donald Trump. He's going to sit it out. He, he says he hasn't even registered to vote. I don't think about that. These Aren't these the guys that support the military and the police and all that? 
and our right to freedom and democracy. Oh, well, democracy is kind of questionable with these guys. So he, he says that that's going to teach him a lesson, you know, that that. If if the small bunch of Trump supporters just unless unless Donald Trump is on the ticket, they're not they're sitting out they're sitting it out. And, and Nick Fuente says that he isn't he hasn't even registered to vote. He's not going to vote in the midterm midterms or anything. Well, Nick Fuentes, that's kind of freaking un American, isn't it? Isn't that what our soldiers, where everybody fought for the right to, to freedom, the right to vote, to have our say? So if 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 his guy. If he can't vote for his guy, he's taking his ball and he's going home. He's not going to play. He's going to sit in the corner and pout. And that's going to teach everybody else a big lesson. God bless you, Nick Fuentes. Do that. Do that. I, I love it. Sit there and pout and don't register to vote. That's what, that's what I want. I, I love it. Which leads me to, uh, it's, it's not a clip but there's a, I looked at polls, the latest polls in September and October. And this is a Marist poll, a PBS Marist poll. And I, I'm sure that the Trump fans out there are going to say, it's, it's fake news. But six in ten Americans do not want Donald Trump to run. And I think uh, 60% of Americans, since... What came out, what was found in Mar-a-Lago, think that Donald Trump should be indicted. 60% of, Amer of Americans, 78% of Republicans would vote for Donald Trump. Now, from the last, 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 check I, last time I checked, there's a, mo a few more registered Democrats than Republicans. So that means the Republican Party is already a little smaller. I think the Republican Party turns out more to vote, though, which hurts the Democrats. But then only a fraction, 75%, and this is, this is a while ago too. I think they probably even lost more. A smaller minority want Donald Trump as president. So that's just great. Nick Fuentes, sis, be my guest. Take your ball and go home and pout and sit in the corner. You little whining crybaby. Uh, I love it. I love it. I agree with him. Uh, you know, how, how this guy could sit there and proudly say that he, he hasn't registered to vote. I've been registered. I registered to vote even back when I was using. Uh, when I was 18 years old, as soon as I could, I registered. I, I hate to, I'll, I tell you guys, I'm honest with you. I voted for Ronald Reagan in, uh, in 80, was it? 88. I was 18 years old. And I hate to say this, but I voted for Ronald Reagan. I was kind of like some of these guys now. These young guys that think Trump and, you know. They just hear this stuff about Trump, and they think he's a oh, this is a great guy. This is America, and that's that's who I was back when. I hate to admit this, but it's the truth. That's who I was back when I was eighteen. I didn't know. I I, I believed the the rhetoric that I heard, and then now I look back, and I realize half the reason I couldn't go to college was because of Ronald Reagan. I ended up going to a a, a technical school for a couple for four years. But uh, I, I realized that listening, that supporting, supporting Ronald Reagan and listening to his rhetoric actually hurt me. Kind of sounds familiar. Anyway, the clips are down below. Watch Republican Jesus. It, it, it's a fantastic clip. It's well made. It, it, it just it hits home in the, these, these hypocritical uh, hypocrites that are the evangelical conservatives. You guys, I'll be back later with another video. I got to do the Viagra video. You guys, have a great Monday.